That's stopped. <laughs> it's, not a good start. it's not a good start, is it? Hey, welcome everyone anyway. Um, welcome to um, the new show that myself, Scott and Charlie are putting together. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys. <laughs> Everyone's like, what, 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 what mistake's going to happen now? What mistake's going to happen now? <laughs> it's, 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 it's like we planned that, you know, because the, the show is all about bloopers and things going wrong. And, and, <laughs> and it goes wrong. So, what, we, what we're trying to try do here is... Uh, and Andy keeps freezing. He has frozen it. There you go. There's another blooper. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm freezing. My computer's probably doing too much at the moment. I'm probably, <laughs> probably trying to play too much. But uh, so what? What we're trying to do here, obviously, there's there's a thousand and one um, paranormal shows, chat shows, and everything out there. Um, what we what we're planning on doing here is looking at the lighter side, as we keep saying. We're going to look at bloopers. We're going to look at jump scares. We're going to look at things gone wrong. And basically, we'll give you our opinion on what, what we see in here. That's what we're doing in it, guys. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's, it's just something yeah. different, isn't it? It's different to your normal paranormal shows. You know, everybody's so serious in the paranormal field and everybody gets critics. And, you know, this is just something to fetch the guys, something fun to watch and... You know our experiences and what we think. That's it. That's it. I mean, as Andy says, there's a thousand and one shows out there, and a lot of them are serious and blah blah blah. So it's just to kind of lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah. Just so that nobody else is there and show the other side of the paranormal that we do make mistakes, we do yeah. beat up, you know, and, yeah. and but we do have a laugh at the same time. Um, that we're, we're doing it. It's all a lot, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> you, you might you might notice through this that Scott, who's using the chatterbox, might be a little bit quiet. See, he, he had a blooper himself this week. Do you, do you, do you want to share it with us, Scott? Nope. <laughs> what what did that nope. marshmallow do to you? Did what? Sorry. <laughs> what what did that marshmallow do to you? Do you know what? Saw that. I'm going to look an idiot, but this is what it shows all about, you know, the funny side of things that happen. I was putting cat crap down the back, down the toilet the other day, and as soon as I hit the first button, I took a slight coughing fit, and my dentures up the top level, whoosh, came kind of flying out, and they went, you know, they're probably in the Irish Sea been out somewhere, um, and that was it. And the species of shark, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, I, it sounds well. I put my hand down to try and catch them, but I was just, you know, it just didn't happen for me. Um, so I was at the dentist on Thursday, and I got the impressions and that done, and it says it's going to be the end of January before I've got them. Well, I mean, the end of January, six weeks. So I'm eating pigging noodles and pieces of butter. So that's it. So have a laugh. Go on. No, nah, you can't have a laugh. He's lying, really. They never really fell out. He's had a skin full. I think, actually, Charlie, we've, we've got the video to prove that he had a skin full. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't we? Just show that one. Can you oh, show that one? I'm sure we've got the video that proves he's had a skin full. I have clicked. I have clicked. I have clicked. Here we go. Probably come up on Tuesday or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all, it's all about the blue. Work it. That worked Take well, didn't it? Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> And it's all going wrong tonight. <laughs> well, that's about five minutes in, and that's about three whippers already. Yep. I but think Andy's froze as well, isn't he? Andy's froze. I've froze. I've no froze the guy in the TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> we might have frozen here. Yeah. We'll do our best. 
but he's just really good at standing still. <laughs> what made you do that, Scott? <laughs> I think, you know, for a man of my age, I'm in pretty good shape, don't you agree? <laughs> I've seen the full video of some good dance moves in there, mate, as well. <laughs> Did you see the square kid? Yeah, I think Andy's <laughs> just trying to sort out his connection. <laughs> well, that's, good. That's, that's blooper number four. Is that I mean? <laughs> on his channel, buggers off, didn't he? Yeah, that's all he does. He, he just invites us to a live and then he disappears. <laughs> I am but you know I'll keep it kind of I'll keep it clean for now. But I can see who's in the chat. Facebook user Gail's there, James there. I think the Facebook user might be Sarah actually. Um, Gail's there. Gail has and Gail and Jem um, have had quite a good wee laugh this week at me at my. <laughs> but obviously, it was the funny, you know. It was just. I say to Andy, it was one of the, you ever had one of the times in your life that you stand and yeah. you think, did that just happen? <laughs> you know, can I pause? Your life pauses for about two minutes and you stand and you think, <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, he's back. He's back. It's, it's Scott's turn to freeze now, mate. You're freezing now. <laughs> Close myself. It's not good. <laughs> I, 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 I put way too much bandwidth through the through the television. Then it it wasn't good. Hi, Gem. How you doing? Hello, Gail. Who else? Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Gail. Well. So, note to self: don't try and play videos because that's just not going to work. No, I'm quite <laughs> glad that one never worked. But can I just categorically state? State. Can I just mention? I can't even pronounce my S's. <laughs> um, that, well, here it goes again. That it's no me in the video. At home due to coronavirus. No. I'm not, I've not clicked anything. Do you think Andy actually knows me? I think, do you know what's happened here? I think Scott's lost his dentures and he's thrown his technical ability over to me. That's what it is. He's thrown his technical ability over to me. I know what I'm doing now. Sarah, if you, if you want a job on another show. <laughs> hey, Gumsy. <laughs> Hello, Gumsy. Yeah. <laughs> No, but we have the pictures of you falling <laughs> off the bed. Oh, actually, I fell off the bed. We got pictures of you the bed. last week as well. You, what you like? Um, Not good. Sarah, so, Sarah, pictures of me. But anyway, well, now we're going to we're going to see, we're going to see if this works now. So, as at the moment, nobody watching here has sent us any of their bloopers. It's almost like they're all too scared to show that they they make mistakes. We've got a few memes to throw up. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to talk about the memes. Talk about our experiences relating to the memes. Okay? I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to press add to stream, and I'm probably now going to disappear for the next 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start with this one. Who felt this through lockdown? Yeah. I Definitely. <laughs> Especially when you can get out. <laughs> first period ever. Couldn't get out. Sat there, you know, oh, I don't want to go out. Couldn't go out anywhere. Horrible yeah. for the paranormal field, don't you think? Definitely. Especially when you have so many things planned and booked and you have to chuck them to the side. So Nightmare. How many people started investigating the back gardens and front gardens and <laughs> using using the, using the one hour exercise to go ghost hunting in the forest? <laughs> yeah, walk, walk, the dog, walk. <laughs> just taking the dog for a walk. Just get me EVP and me K two as well. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it is. But they, they, they were saying, weren't they, that you know you could you, you could go for a drive to like a, a place of. Um, a place of exercise, you know, you take your dog for a walk. Yeah. How many people went on that three-hour drive to the 
to the, to, to the local country house to try and do a little bit in the, <laughs> do the exercise yeah. around that country house, you know? <laughs> I, 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 was, I was there. I was one of them. I was one of them. <laughs> no, I think we behaved. I think we can... Uh, that's so be. true. <laughs> Who else has done this? Literally, I, literally, I keep saying to Kirsty all the time, we're driving past somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'd love to investigate that place. I'd love to go into that place. Yeah, definitely do, time. especially when they look dead old as well, don't they? When you drive through the UK, you look at them and you see like black and white buildings, you're like, yep, yeah, definitely got to be haunted. Victorian style building, definitely haunted. <laughs> I mean, that, that's I how we got into Turk's Head all that time ago. We used to we used to drive through Ripon Town and there was a set of traffic lights and the, the, that pub was right next to us. We must have stopped at them traffic lights a hundred times and every time we stopped, the, t the pair of us, me and the wife, were both like out the window trying to see if the curtains were slightly open to have a look inside, see what <laughs> see what it looked like. But it's um it's crazy. You just can't help yourself doing it, can you? No. Yeah. That was an abandoned farm not too far from mine. I just need to find it. That would be an ideal, an ideal, ideal deal to actually to find it. Um, and Gail, part of your team is it? Yes, I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that 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 that's somewhere up in up in Scotland. I'm not telling you where. It's a secret location. Oh. Everywhere in the paranormal is a secret to those who know about it, isn't it? Ah. Uh, yeah. Right. I, I, I uh, tend to follow a lot of urban urbex explorers <laughs> just to see if I can get a glimpse of that. I'll take a screenshot of the photo, put it straight into Google Maps, and it's like, bang, there you go. <laughs> yeah, do, you know what? do you know what? I've done exactly the same. Yeah. Out here. Because um, out here, there's a lot of um, like old asylums that have been knocked to the ground, but yeah. they still can't build on the land, so there's like ruins and stuff there. So you'll hear like there's one um, just down the road from us in Rosamond. It's called the Rosamond um, Insane Asylum or something like that. And it's just a load of rubble on the floor. But there's been loads of people going investigating it. So yeah. I was like, okay, okay, Google Maps, let's find where it is. And it's literally just a, a piece of gravel on the side of the road. But Mad. De definitely Google Maps is your friend. Yeah. Who, who's have you ever gone onto Google Maps and just searched and searched and see if you could find any like markings in fields or yeah, mm -hmm. definitely like just open open land and you just zoom right in and you see if it's a shape of a building and you can just exactly. pinpoint that right. I'll go and have a look at that next week. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely love Google Maps. Absolutely love it. But have you found some of the strange things on there? You know, like where you, you zoom in, you find like you see like a little plane in the ocean or. Yeah, shipwrecks and stuff like that. Yeah, found I found a few of them, but yeah, definitely, definitely out the window. Definitely looking at um, haunted houses. Yeah. What's next? What we got next? Who's reached that point? Who's reached a set of stairs going down oh. into the darkness? You, but you, you know need what? To go, don't you? you need to go. You'd have to. Yeah. You know. I mean, I've never understood why, you know, people go and they'll find a set of stairs like that or whatever, a basement, and they oh, no, I'm not going down there. It looks too scary. I think but the I mean, curiosity I've, gets the better of you. <coughs> I've been on the verge. Don't get me wrong. I've been on the verge. I set of stairs like that with uh, covered in cobwebs, and I've thought to myself, am I really going to go down here? And then I've gone, but it's... And it's a dead end. <laughs> You can do it, it's a dead end, there's nothing there. You <laughs> right now, you know that, and then you realise you need to go all the way back up the stairs. You know yeah, you mean? get to the bottom and there's a sign on the door, you've reached your 1,000 steps. It's suckers, you I mean? Um, Gail's like, you can't, you can't deal with yeah, the old ones, of course, if you don't want to. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a few. When we done Caldwell, she went right, it was three floors, and um, uh, she was just too keen to get up, but she did it. She pushed herself and she went up to the, the top, you know, uh, um, top, fucking top floor. Tap, like, I went tapping the stairs. Um, Wait, the top. 
Aye, up there, up that way. Um, I take my hat off there, but I'm not wearing man, as you can see. So, kid one, there you go. Take my hat off. I'll take it off for you. All right, you take it off for me. Um, so I, she did, she did them. Um, do it. So you know, all credit to to her. Even though Have you ever we, not you know, when you get to a staircase. Go, sorry, go on, Scott. Even though I shouldn't be talking to you because my favourite food is bacon, right? And I can't eat it, obviously, because of my dilemma. <laughs> so I think it's three times this week Gail has sent me a photograph of her eating bacon just to wind me up. <laughs> Have you had your oh. caterpillar cake yet, Scott? <laughs> I was actually, I touched one yesterday. I know that sounds kind of weird. You touched um, one. <laughs> I, I took Laura shopping yesterday and we were in Tesco and she was going up for, she went up the cake section and I saw them. I was like, oh, you know, and I, t- I lifted one off the shelf and was talking to it and stuff, you know, introducing myself. And um, oh. I put it back to, I can't buy it. It has to be bought for me so I to return it to the shelf. It's a shame. I'll get one. I'll get one. I mean, <laughs> if we're not get it, James, I never navigate stairs and it's successful. We need to start wearing a GoPro or something. Tomorrow's picture will be sent up the I so So have you ever noticed though with staircases like this that there's always that one stair that, that that's slightly loose and when you walk over it you hear nothing, but it's when you're like three or four steps down, that step behind you decides to release itself. Yeah, and yeah, that creek. The bank or the creek behind you, and you jump around, you're like, Oh, then it's not until you go back up, you know, you, you've got yourself down there, you've given yourself a scare, you've been down there panicking now for, for 30 minutes, whatever it is. At least we know you... now, Scott, what Andy sounds like when he gets scared on the top of the stairs. I know, I'm about Jay's <laughs> <Jesse. laughs> I, I think it's some movie in America has done it. I mean, yeah. Right here, I reckon yeah. he's there, and he when we when they go in, he's go like Kirsty, you go first, love. Check if there's any loose steps. <laughs> yeah, there's a torch. Or if, you know, <laughs> if he hears a, a sound in the night, he's the one that right, Kirsty, go and let me know what that is. Go tell me. Check You've it not out. Heard that saying then? If in strife, send the wife. <laughs> On you go. Do, do your um, do your scared voice again. Go on. Here again. <laughs> <laughs> you and whenever you come back here, and you're never coming out in an investigation with us. No chance. <laughs> what? How you sound like that? There might be spirits out there who like a laugh. I mean, like, oh, that's scary, Kirsty. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally you? different when I actually go out on an investigation. I, 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 yeah. I don't know what it is, and when, when I, when, like sitting here talking about it, like you. Sometimes you get a little bit freaked out when you talk about things you've done or things you're going to see and all that sort of stuff. But when you're actually out there, it's like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go. And that's it. It's, it's, oh, you it's put, just you put your macho, Put your macho boots on when you're out on investigation, do you? And? I, put, I put my big boy pants on. <laughs> I make sure I've got my dentures in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, smart. It's Doc Martens and his jet is a... Uh... Black jacket, you know what Danny does with his jacket. I mean, sorry, Scott, we can't hear you with them dentures out. I'm not going to love this dinner. I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I'll be honest about it and tell you. Um, I'm going to brand the show with with Charlie, Andy, and Gums. <laughs> I should just, I should, I've, I've heard this all week. I'll get tired. See, that it's with the Christmas dinner. I can blend my steak, you know. I'll tell you what, though, Scott, Scott is a sucker for a good joke. That's a, that's Go on, laugh. You can laugh. Go, oh, okay, let's let's ch- let's change the slide then, shall we? <laughs> this one always gets me. I've, I've seen a, I've seen a few shows out there, and they're they're off in the the middle of France or. The middle of, uh, as this one says, Germany, whatever. They're in a castle. They know they're talking to um, or trying to communicate with 
an old resident of the French or the German castle, and they're screaming out in English. Can you imagine? Oh, the challenge, are we? We're losing everyone now. I'll is that nice. enough? This is going is well, isn't it? Hey. Uh, no, I, I've, uh, I've noticed that as well. They're speaking English. doesn't matter what part of the world they're in. They're speaking English. Yeah. You know, Germany. Yeah. Regardless um, of where they are, everyone speaks English. Apparently, apparently, it's a global language. Uh, so, basically, as you know, during your lifetime, if you're French, you speak French. As soon as you die... You speak you English. You speak English. <laughs> Obviously. 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 You so I guess what we're saying is there's only one language in the afterlife. Well, well if you think job. about it, right, here's, here's a good one for you. If you were deaf, right, what language would you actually be thinking? What? I suppose if you, if you were deaf from birth, you wouldn't know, would you? Yeah, exactly. So what language would you actually be thinking? Would it be Polish, English, German, French? Yeah, how would you know that one? No idea. That's got right. Scott baffled, that, isn't it? <laughs> right. That's your first strike now, right? That's that's way too deep for this show. That, that, <laughs> right, that, 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 was, that was almost virgin on the serious side. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not here to think. <laughs> oh, oh my bad I'm sorry <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's a good question nonetheless it's a belting uh, point it's a belting point yeah but it could be though you think a spirit yeah <laughs> you're calling out to a spirit that spirit could have been deaf all its life it's not going to hear you <laughs> I mean there's no saying that you know just putting it out there as a, as a physical thing so after death, there's no physical soul. You know. <laughs> yeah. but then if you've not heard anybody talk all your kind of physical life, when you die and you know, become a spirit and somebody talks to you, you'll be like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear Scott, he's got no dentures in. It's all right, we're after the watershed, Scott. We'll let you off. We won't We won't give you one strike there. Oh, well, this, <laughs> this isn't my channel, so it's fine. So somebody talks to a spirit after death and might say, what the fuck are you saying? You're going to get me stuck off here. You're going to get me stuck off before we even stop. I've had more F1s dropped in my shows since since I started having you on, Scott. Then but I don't know what. Shocking. Well, I am Glaswegian by nature. You know. Glaswegian violation. So who has to explain to the friends over and over again what they actually do? Yeah, they actually multiple, do. multiple times. I don't, because I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any friends. <laughs> 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 friends. Uh, Scott, Nimi, friends, give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> Come on, one, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'll go to the bus station and just start talking to random people. <laughs> We'd be my friend. Fuck off. <laughs> I actually told a guy to F off the day uh, when I was in the in the local shopping mall. Well, it's not actually a shopping mall. It's more like like 10 shops with a roof over it, you know. But I was one of these guys, no disrespect to him, I know they got a job today, but... It was um, it was trying to sell something or you sponsor a canoe or something like that, you know, sponsor a squirrel, all that kind of shit. And uh, he, said, he came up to me and said, "Excuse me, excuse me, mate." I was like, "No, no, no, I've no got time, buddy." Three times in fifteen minutes he stopped me. The third time I ended up saying, "Look, just going to go." Oh, he <laughs> didn't recognise you. He didn't recognise you. Know what I mean? Totally sensible story, but there you go. I get slagged all the time off my friends and watch me, but I don't care. What they think. That's true. It's, 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 it's the best way, Gail. Don't care what they think. You know? No. It's, it's, it's like you see on the screen there, actually. Right? So your friends obviously think that you're on one of these TV paranormal shows, you know? You, you're running around every time you walk into a building, you're going to capture 150 different spirits and they're all going to talk to you and give you their name and tell you what they do. 
you know. But what 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 I find is probably ninety percent of the time you sat in a freezing cold corner, you know, trying to trying to trying to huddle up against whatever you can to get some warmth. Yeah. Getting absolutely nothing. I don't mm-hmm. know. That is ninety percent of the time. Definitely. I think Jem's right. I'm going to put a comment up, but she's getting a strike for being too serious as well. But people oh. do. Oh, 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 oh. Look, let's oh, do it. Strikes out willy nilly. <laughs> I'm, 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 going, I'm going big on the strikes today. I'm going big on the strikes. Today. <laughs> I think the power's going to his head slightly. Yeah, definitely. Right. Definitely. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 I'll play with it. You know, um, no, you know what gets me is you see these investigators and they go out and they're dressed like I I, I see this a few times with they're dressed like SAS commandos, right? And yeah. they've got the big radio wearing, wearing vests. I, I'm not slagging Danny Moss, by the way. We love your vest. Where are you? <laughs> He's got the best vest in the West. I fucking said that, didn't I? Best vest in the West. <laughs> so, um, no, it, 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 it is too. You know, when you go on paranormal nights and, you know, you, you see a lot of people dead serious. But I find so, some people, like when we've had public nights, guests, they love to have a laugh. Do you know what I mean? Just a random chit chat, just shit, whatever you want, just a general conversation. And it it just brings the spirit alive when you have a laugh in it. And you know, it's not no point being too serious in the paranormal. No, no. I watched one guy, or his months, I think it was last year. Um, I watched him and he went it was just himself. And he had the the, the black t shirt, the black combat trousers, the Doc Martin boots on, the, the vest and the, the, the big radio, you know, like this. I mean he's out himself, who's he gonna talk to? You know, there's no deal there. And he had his face painted black. Why? <laughs> he done. You know the markings you get. Don't be going to market. Like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> this on his and I'm thinking, why? You know, <laughs> trying to stand home. up against the wall and blend in. I won't spin it. Won't see me here. <laughs> well, there, there's a ghost look. Can you see me? Can you see me? You know my back door, did not Give me, give me three taps if you can hear me. <laughs> You're hiding it. You can't see me. Right? <laughs> yeah, proper, proper cameo stuff against the wall like this. <laughs> well, it's the radio that go me, but I thought, who are you going to radio? You do it yourself. You know. Who are you going to talk to? We're going to see Charlie in a vest with cam cream down his face <laughs> and a big radio. Yeah. <laughs> hiding, hiding in a hedge. And you just uh, see the hedge pattern. <laughs> Gail's just thrown one up. Um, she's noticed uh, <laughs> she seems to cause drama without doing anything. Anyone else or is it just me? She's going serious again, so I reckon there's another strike there, but she's right. <laughs> I think that's, that's almost a strike. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. No matter what you do, no matter what team you are, any team's going to get stick, no matter what. You're going to get that's people it. that like you, love you, people that hate you. So, you know, let them get on with it. You do what you do. You enjoy what you do, and that's it. That's it. Five people you know. Right. Five people, I know what she's talking about. It's happened twice. She's attracted a bit of drama. Oh. That was my serious face. That was my serious Scott. bit of drama. Strike. What? <laughs> That's strike two. <laughs> Give, oh, 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 Charlie. Someone's got it in for you here. <laughs> oh, gem, gem. <laughs> You're going yeah. down, boy. What am I giving him oh, a strike? I tell you what, the next the next live we do, whoever gets a strike, they do a forfeit and start stripping. <laughs> We've already seen what in his pants. <laughs> Here's your paranormal. <laughs> 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 
this will put you up watching us again, won't it? What you see? <laughs> you know, people, talk, people talking on Facebook. Did you see that live with Andy Scott and Charlie? All of a sudden, three strikes in, they were naked. <laughs> I'll keep my top on because I don't want a queue of pensioners at the door tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'd say, I'd, say, I'd say a strike was a shot, but with Scott being teetotal, I'll I'll keep me top on. I don't want to scare the wife. <laughs> oh, oh, no, what's please. next? Then? What's next? <laughs> Spirits. Uh, they don't uh, just wait for night time. They don't just no, come out. No, when it turns dark. Definitely not. I uh, they they don't work ten to six. Or anything, you no. know, right, right, I'm late, I better go, you know. Come on, okay. what's going on? We're only available on a Friday and Saturday between 9 and 12. Uh, <laughs> I've got a bit of graveyard, you know, and a team will come in and one and say, the other, well, you get these ones, I get the last ones. I'm on my <laughs> I'm coming for sloppy seconds. <laughs> I've, still got, I've still got three minutes to go, mate. You go and scare them. Yeah. <laughs> clock in, clock out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's um. Have you ever have you done a day investigation yourselves? Have you been out in 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 daylight and and done an investigation yourselves? I yeah. I, we, did, we, we did it at uh, Caldwell. Well, Sarah and Laura done it at Caldwell, and we go. Just the same amount of activity than that we did at night time. Yeah. Yeah, so, we have when we've been to different locations, you know, we get there hours beforehand and you know, you do pre investigations to see what the place is like and you get activity in day. Some places we've been we've had more activity during the day than we have come afternoon because like we've gone off. Oh, been brilliant through the day. Hopefully it's active tonight and then you get nothing. Yeah. So, I think is that a question? Is that question says, do you think spirits sit around all day waiting for it to get dark? I was going to say yeah. that about a hell of a boring life. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> but they're there for a journey. Imagine every day for a sitting about waiting for 10 o'clock at night to come. And that was you oh. for a journey. <laughs> you know, uh, could you could you imagine sitting there in a place that nobody's ever been to visit for 30 years? <laughs> Someone's about to come round in a minute. Someone's coming. <laughs> right. gonna, tonight's my night, I'm telling you. I am on fire tonight. It's going to happen. I mean, obviously, you've got, the, you've got that dead hour in the night that everyone talks about. But I don't know. For, for me, and we're not getting too serious, there's more energy. I think there's more energy about in the day than there is at night. Yeah, I, I, I think it just depends on the person and the location and what energy you bring. And I think to, towards nighttime as well, though, you think it gets dark, it, it's more atmospheric and it, you got more of your own senses up and you're like, oh, you know, we're waiting for this, we're waiting for that. So that's what yeah. brings it on as well. But then again, think, we didn't, if in the paranormal oh, we didn't wait for nighttime, how are we going to use all these expensive cameras and, and lights and things we buy? Exactly. The night vision camera is no use in the day, and if we spent all that money on a night vision camera, we're going to use it at night. Yeah. And then you get, the whole well, thing again, though, you could go to some places that could be boarded up, and it's daytime outside, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but it looks as if it's 12 o'clock at night inside the building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All right. All right. See, you get the Hollywood image as well. Everything happens at night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hollywood. Aye, granted, night time's mere. I like going to night time because it's mere spookier and you can't see where you're going. No. What was that bang? Charlie's just gone to, spe just to inspect that big bang. No, it's Charlie's gone down the fucking stairs. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you have reached your thousand, thousand step mark. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the spirits are stone there, fucking waiting us there, laughing at you. You know, they're yeah, running all right yeah. there. Take him back. Take him back. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take them to cover all these stairs? They're all taking Yeah, you just catch an EVP at the end. I was standing at the top of the stairs, you donkey fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but it's when it's pitch black and you look at that little screen on your camera, and that's that's all you can see is that little. 
little view on the like, you know, you've got like a two inch view to walk through. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see anything on the, in your peripheral vision. Bang, you're hitting your head off all sorts because it's not showing up on the camera. <laughs> Yeah, I've done it during the day. I went my back side. It's the first time I went into the basement at Caldwell. Um, it was broad daylight, and I went my back side. I fell over big, huge uh, bricks, stones. So, you know, you can still, you can still go in your back side during the day. I love I've never heard it. of that Hollywood forest scale. Um, no, neither have I, to be honest. I, I take it that's over in the US, yeah? Unless there's a Hollywood in in Scotland, I, I'm not sure. I, I know there's a no, no, no. I, I tell you what, I'd I like to do uh, the Lake Lake District. Apparently, the Lake District's supposed to be really haunted. The 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 one with the Hollywood sign is yeah in the so, USA. Yeah. Um. We went up to Griffiths Observatory a few weeks ago, which is just across from the Hollywood sign. It's hard to get up to the sign itself. It's all like a, it's all locked off now. You can't get that close to it anymore. Um, I know the, I know they say the sign itself is supposed to be haunted because um, they had to block it off because people were throwing themselves off. Um, but it's not too much of a forest around it now. It's um, it's quite open, so. There you go, just drop in there. It was in Hollywood the other week. Big Hollywood star, now he's over there. Uh, you know, <laughs> just well, took a stroll down you know, Rodale Drive and round Beverly Hills, you know, as, as, as you do on, <laughs> every day. As you, as you do. I think you should get a strike for being a bikey. Yeah, I was I just going to suggest that, Scott. Andy, first strike. <laughs> I'm keeping right. this on. Oh no! I've, apparently, I've burst Gale's bubble. <laughs> Sorry, Gale. You see, we'd be upsetting the ladies tonight, Andy, quite well. You see, we've gone fire with that one. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting to find out how much I've upset the wife because she's not commented yet. See, there's a suitcase in the hallway after you come off your thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was you talking about on that light? <laughs> see your bags? Get fucking out. <laughs> what you can't see behind me is the, is the shoes coming flying at me. <laughs> You're no such a big man new, are you? Hey, without a camera, there's your bag. Mate, not, remember not, me leaving your bag, kid. Not when it comes to the wife. The wife's the boss. Well, well, yeah. Can understand that over here is different. I do wear the trousers in the house though, and that's that's because she says I can. Uh, yeah, she picked them for you. <laughs> yeah, Andy, these are the ones you're allowed to wear. <laughs> you wear them today. We are green and you're green. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I think we've got one more left. I think we've got one more. Travel thousand miles to find a ghost runs and they think there's a ghost. <laughs> this 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 is the biggest one for me. And you, you you see it all over, you know. You, you you travel for hours upon hours, and then as soon as you see a ghost, you get the oh, and out you go. <laughs> I, I've always said that. Um I've always said that, you know, these ghost shows, there is one particular, I'm not gonna name. Because it's your channel, Mr. Murphy, so I don't want to get you any strikes or whatever. Um, but they're there hunting ghosts, and you see a ghost, and what do they do? Even the men scream. They sound a bit like Andy, actually, with his wee scared voice. Oh, um, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> and they run like hell. Where the, you know, the, the spirits in the other direction, where he's going. You know, um, I've never actually understood that. No. To be, to be quite honest. Why would you uh, travel that far to go and see one and then just to turn around and walk away? Exactly. 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 But the, these are the sort of reactions we want. These are the sort of videos we want. We want to see those people running away when they yeah. when they capture something. That's the sort of videos we want to see. So if you've got them, send them in to us. Send them either to Scott, me, Charlie, send us to any of us. We want to see those videos. We want to see the times you fell down the stairs. We want to see the times you've <laughs> Your head on that doorway that's too small. We want to see those. <laughs> we'll put them up in the show if 
I get enough internet. Maybe maybe we'll let Scott do the next one on his channel because he'll get the internet. Um, I, but yeah, definitely want to see those things. Because our internet over here is a lot better than it is over there, but it looks here. Yeah. I, I think I just tried to do too much, Scott. I think that's what it was. Just trying to do too much. It was that video. I think the internet was scared of seeing it, let alone you seeing it. Well, as I say, it's automatic for me. Automatic come up as he put it on. Sorry, this content is not suitable <laughs> for the internet. Please take down immediately. <laughs> I actually thought when it, when, when, it, when it froze, when I pressed play, I thought, oh, copyright strike already. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Now the show's over. We, we, we got that. Guys, Dewey can move, but no as fast as Charlie in a tunnel. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what you need to do, Charlie. You need to do your... See, I don't know the hallway. It was a tartan you were in, and you were doing this, the, this accent. Ah. Uh, no, Come yeah, on. I was on my way. I was on my way to tartan. Um, <laughs> and we got to McDonald's. And I was, oh, what was it you said? No, it wasn't Tatton. I went, ah, oh, well, we're here now, guys. We're here. We're here, Tatton. And um, it's, it's bloody marvellous. Um, how do you feel about tonight's investigation? Tell me, tell me, please. <laughs> I, should, I, should, I should just keep that. I but the next I one's got to be a David Attenborough. Here we have a spirit called Janet. <laughs> that's, that's the other thing that gets me. These teams are going to places and right away they get something. You know, bang. Yeah. They don't even get their jacket off and they get it. And they know their name and everything. It's, especially when you've been trying for about a year and a half at the same location. They come in five minutes. Yeah, I've got it. And <laughs> they're, they're, they're right serious. They're right doing the line. And you just want to take the pole out their ass, basically. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and... They're, 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 they're telling all their team, well, this is how we do it. You need to do it this way. Because I know, I know better. I've dealt with this spirit before. You know, you ever get yeah. these teams that they always meet? A spirit, oh, I've dealt with this one. This is a bad one. This is demonic. You know, they yeah. have demons and stuff. But... Do, 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 you know what, do you know what I find? I, I, uh, I have respect for anybody I work with. I will not put a dampener on their, their you know, what they found, or I will not dismiss it. I will not do anything. I will let them do what they think they have captured or what they've got, and then I will just do my own. And if I get it, then yeah, I get it. If I don't, I always say, unless I see it myself, I don't believe it. All right. well, that's it. You know, right. you, you can get fooled, can't you, by the internet? People can put on the internet anything they want. You know, you know, it's like it's like it's like somebody putting on the internet. You know, and tatting, you know, tatting for you guys, for example. Um, someone putting on the internet that there's a there's a ghost there called Little Timmy, and then you go into Tatton Hall and st started shouting, "Oh, Little Timmy, Little Timmy!" And then you hear something coming through your your, yeah. your intro box that goes ta ta, and you're like, "It's saying Little Timmy," and then before you know it, everyone's caught Little Timmy at Tatton. Yeah, you know? it's on, it's on, they jump on the bandwagon on the hype. Yeah, you've got to get yeah. your own, you've got to make your own mind up, haven't you? You know, it's yeah. I think Definitely. nice history of a of a location, but I, I know I try and avoid the names from a location. I think um, I think I think it ruins it as well when you, not so much ruins it, but when you go in and you've been given this perception of what goes on or what the names are, you automatically start looking for that, and it's it, like you said, you take one, and the excitement is when you go in blind and you just look for it yourself and see what you get. And then, especially when you go into a, into a location that you don't know nothing about, you find that evidence, and then you go back from it and research then, and then see if it coincides with the research of what you found. Yeah. That's, that's, what what it's, like. that's the way for me. I love that the other day when Scott sent them clips through, because obviously I wasn't there. I don't know the location, never been there, yeah. didn't even know what, where he was investigating. And he sent them clips through, and when I was listening to him, it was like, well, there's something there, there's something there, there's a little bit there. And that was because I had no preconceptions of what exactly I was looking at. I think that's that the best thing. It's like it's like a Pandora's box. When yeah. you open it, it's just when you get them little bits all the time. You just want to go back and open more to the page and 
open more to the book and you know you discover new things and that's the exciting part about the paranormal yeah it is. Can, can i just see everybody watching i do apologize for andy and charlie in series for two minutes there <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry scott we forgot it's your all, dentures were out it's it's okay scott did, did, you, did you not read the rules of the show the memes are off the screen now so we're allowed to talk normal now yeah <laughs> all right I, I, think that's a, I think that's a for Scott for not reading the rules. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's straight to other I, I, I would say I was sitting there biting my lip, but I fucking can't. <laughs> 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 it's, <laughs> it's not by a... <laughs> you you know what, guys? I don't care now. The first couple of days, it was, you know, I was like, oh, you see no full body laugh me. I can bring it on. I don't care as well as I don't want nah, to it is what it is, mate. Nobody's I mean, gonna judge you for not having no teeth in. Don't worry. I don't know what you I don't know what you think though, Charlie. I think he's actually clearer to understand with no teeth. Better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the best, the best ones, best ones when we're on live with Scott, obviously, because Roxanne's family in the background is Scottish, your Nana's Scottish, your dad's Scottish. So for me, when I first got Roxanne, it was quite difficult, but I picked up on the Scottish slang now. So it's like, to me, it's like second nature, if you know what I mean, because I always hear a dad and a nan speaks faster than a dad. But when we're on live with Scott sometimes with the Haunted Hunts team, they're like, what was Scott saying? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> you pick that out sometimes when it, when it, and, and we're not we're not picking on the Scots here. I, I, I've lived there for ten years, so it's not about. But we do see sometimes, especially I think it was um, when you had Sophie on the other day. I think Sophie was really struggling to understand what you were saying. I uh, the the best one is I mean they over a death party. A party can never uh, you know. There's always going to be somebody else on the panel to translate. And I can always tell um, when cause she's got this certain confused look. You know, Laura's, well, Laura's had a wee, a wee tiny slagging, but she's, she's been the better of the three between Laura, Gail, and yeah. Sarah, you know. Um, but Pat's going to say that, didn't you? I had to just give a comment. You have to say that because yeah. the comic showed up. The comic got popped up and he had to say that. <laughs> keep it in the yeah. good books. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's keeping the boss in the good books, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I bless so she's like, dude. I would pie pie puts this kind of confused face on, and that's when I know, you know, I need to slow down. But it's a habit, you know, all, all Scottish people, especially glass regions. The more they talk, the faster they get. Yeah. You know. The more I am brew you drink, the faster you talk. I'm not drinking <laughs> I am brew you back. I'm drinking Coke. Coke it's, like, it's like top grade rocket fuel, isn't it, for the Scots? So I am brew. <laughs> I am brew. <laughs> I remember once I went to uh, Isle of Butte, uh, Rossi, <laughs> and, uh, where Roxanne's land live. We went to a chippy, and I went in there, and Roxanne went, do you want a kind of pop? And I went, yeah. I locked up. It was just iron brew. <laughs> I said, what can you want? I went, I'll have a can of iron brew. <laughs> For me, oh, we're we quite close to the team. Carry on, Andy. I don't want to get a straight for interrupting you. Oh, oh, I, I will apologise. I, I do have a bit of a delay. I, if, if, I, if I have spoken over you both during the live, I apologise. I have got a bit of a delay. Um, so I start talking when there's a gap, and then suddenly you guys are talking as well. But I noticed they do uh, Iron Brew Energy now as well. Like they need to put any more sugar into Iron Brew. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love it. You know, we love it. But we, we, we're quite close to a team from Nottingham, G&I. And they invited their own paraplex and they invited us, Sarah and I, down um, a couple of months before Halloween to film their Halloween special uh, with them so we could be on it. And one of the co-founders, John, he, he hates Iron Brew. He's never tried it, but he just hates it. And so we've made a deal. I said, if I ever come, to, you know, if we ever get to meet up, you've got to drink Iron Brew. So we took him a can. Well, we took more than one can, but we gave him a can. We were doing there, and you know, he's been a smarty. He just was like that. 
and Iron Brew is gassy as hell, you know. And we thought Sarah and I thought he was going to die. See the noises that were coming out of his body. They weren't the natural. <laughs> 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 so, <coughs> I've got, I've still, I think I put the video up on the Facebook page. I've still got the video so we can use that. But I'll also ask the guy first. But he's like that, you know. And then see after <laughs> that, I thought he was going to die. You know, I thought we'd be investigating him. <laughs> <laughs> and what it, <laughs> it was an iron brew was it's got something else and after each like it <laughs> nice that's got <laughs> no it was iron brew granted it was slightly warm you know but you know how been, many strikes are you giving scott for all those names he's just been dropping <laughs> strike four yes, <laughs> what names iron brew <laughs> Patty Negri, boom. GSI, boom. Oh, just uh, it's just name after yeah. name. Mister Mister Networking. No, you know, I'm just going. To, I'm he, just going he can't to help himself. He can't help himself. Uh, apparently, Gail said. I think. I think Gail saying you dropped ten names with it. Is that what she's meaning? <laughs> I, mean, I was talking the language barrier between Patty and me, which is quite famous. And then the Iron Brew we, we joined to GSI, which was quite funny. That was that too. You just learn to count. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about that one. We'll, okay. we'll, 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 we'll save that one for the next show and we'll see how many names you drop in the next show. Yeah. None. In fact, do you know I'll what? Even, I'll put a name drop counter in the bottom corner next time. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I've got to advertise somehow. You know, get 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 the names out there. These people are paying us to make yeah. them another no, really. Um it's it's called networking, isn't it? You know, we we want we want to get these people on the show at some point. So we'll uh, we'll drop all the names. Get them to talk about <laughs> the mistakes they've made. Oh yeah, there's about to be loads of mistakes. Uh, yeah. we need to get we need to get the haunty tons one one as well. We need to get used <laughs> one. That's actually an idea. And Danny I could tell you, I could tell you a few of their mistakes. Don't you worry. <laughs> I find out if Danny yeah. ever paid for that bedside table. Aye, that's right. Did he? Did he pay for the table? The table he broke in. Did uh, he ever pay for the bedside table? Not that I know of. <laughs> so you just got back. <laughs> what was that? I don't want to talk about that. It's like, ooh. We'll get him on and talk about that <laughs> one. Uh, one of the most memorable bits in the Haunted Tons of the, uh, all the seasons that I remember is Emma, bless her, when you were in Chester and she came running chips. out of cheese and chips. I think a, uh, she came running out of chips soap with this carrier bag. And she was like a monkey with a balloon. Not happy. I get cheese and chips. You know? yeah. <laughs> I I she was well happy, happy bless her. Well, I feel you know, so you know, if that's what does it for you, hen, well, well done. But I don't see the moon can't be better. I think it's with a bit of curry sauce. That's disgusting. <laughs> so, I like chips and curry sauce, I like a wee bit of cheese, but no with chips. Don't you deep fry oh. everything, though, Scott? No, that's a that's a straight for Andy Murphy there. <laughs> Uh, Try to tell us something. <laughs> we, well, you got there, don't you? I mean, uh, what is it? Um, Aberdeen, where I used to live, you used to be out uh, going to like a, a pizza shop, and you could get deep fried pizzas, deep fried Mars right. bars, deep fried anything you wanted, deep fried. Oh, I get a chip in through it in a fryer. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was referencing. Um, Apparently, Gail like toffee crisp. Ooh. No, it's just, Can't say say I the, the, a deep fried OVE, deep fried obvious. All right, I um, I've never, I mean, the, the, the deep fried Mars bar was invented in Glasgow, but I've never tried one, and I don't think I ever will try one. I don't, I don't think you ever could. I mean, for, for me. Oh. You know, well, you take your first 
Definitely first not. Bite but, no, we don't, we don't deep fry everything. Yeah, we don't deep fry everything. No, so, not quite. Every, I suppose you can't deep fry your cup of tea or coffee, can you? <laughs> well, I've got a can of buy a brew here, Sarah, but I can't deep fry the fucking. <laughs> like I was saying on, his, on Scott's live the other day, I know the the um, they now put iron brew in the batter and then deep fry stuff in iron brew batter. <laughs> uh, you can do that. You can cook oh, in the bar. You can do that. Oh, fair, enough. fair enough, I'm mistaken. <laughs> you can you can put anything you want in a bar. I used to make the beer bar when I went to the restroom, but you can put you can easily just throw iron brew in and or Coca Cola, whatever. I just rattle it up like that and get it in the fryer. I might try that one oh. actually. I've never oh. actually done it. Uh, look at I'll tell you what I am missing. I'm massively missing a good fish and chips. You, you, you just can't get anything like that. Oh, you can't get fish and chips. Missing it massively. Oh, he's homesick, bless him. See, I, I'm not one for fish and chips, me. I'm not one for fish and chips. Not too keen on it. No? Oh. No. No, a, I have to really, I have to really, really fancy a fish before I can have fish. Like really fancy yeah. it. Otherwise, I won't eat it for months. Well, there you go. So, so I'm, I'm not the know. only one. Gem over in Australia, she's saying that she's missing fish and chips too. So I'm not <laughs> the only one. James originally from Yorkshire, I think. You probably shoot me if I'm wrong. I think it's Yorkshire. You're naked the woods, Mister Murphy. Um. Not mine, the ones, the wife's neck of the ones. Well, I knew it was one of you, you know. I've been all right then, wasn't it? I've been all right, 17. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but uh, you, so yeah. you don't have chip shops as such in America? No. No, there's, no, there's nothing like that. You, out here, it's all sort of restaurant chains, so it's like. Uh, no, no advertising. Arby's, places like that, you know, like name uh, drop. They're He's all name like, dropping. They're all, <laughs> they're all like McDonald's and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's so, um, it's different. So, no, this, if you go to if you go to Vegas, you can get Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Um, but other than that, no, not really fish and chips around here. Everything's uh, French fries and um. Hot dogs, burgers, that sort of stuff. All feel sorry for no, me now. We don't. I don't. I don't do sympathy. I don't do sympathy. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll see people. You know, um, for instance, oh, sorry to hear that because you feel you have to, but you don't actually mean it. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, kid. <well, laughs> Good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Good night. <laughs> I can't I can't for us, We've got people watching in the morning. You've got me sitting in the afternoon. You've got you guys just about to go to bed. It's it's, it's definitely a multi-time zone show we've got here now. You know, we've yeah, made it across definitely. the globe. There you go. You can, <laughs> now, you can both say that you've been part of an international TV show. Internet show, not TV show. TV show, <laughs> he's definitely yeah, too Americanized, isn't he? He's <laughs> definitely, yeah. <laughs> right. you know, We've lost him now, Scott. We've lost him. <laughs> we <laughs> local cable affiliate. <laughs> 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 I mean, but now I don't feel sorry for him one wee bit because, as I say, I don't do sympathy at all. I will nod or say the odd comment at the appropriate moment, but I'm more liable to laugh. You know, and then do something about it. You that's know, why we've got you. You what, buddy? That's why we got you as part of this show because you like a laugh. Charlie likes a laugh. I like a laugh. We might as well bring it to this this world, this paranormal world. You know, still talk about the serious. Can't, can't, stuff, but can't be way. too serious in life, mate. You can't be too serious in life. Exactly. They'll get so, you nowhere. I think. I think on that comment. That might be a good point to end tonight, since it was only supposed to be sort of a 30-minute taster of what <laughs> the show like in the new year. 
And we, we, I saw we, my we shit all, for a bit over an hour now. I think I think that's that's a good point to leave it today. I think what we will do though is anyone who's watching us, anyone who's watched, anyone who watches this back, please send us those funny clips, those clips of you messing up, bloopers, things going wrong. You know, even if it's something really, really serious, and you want us to look at the lighter side of what what you've done, send it into us so we can put it on this show. You know, we might even get you in as a guest to talk about it yourself. Who knows? You guys will decide really where this show goes, but what you will get is we'll always be having a laugh as we do it. That's what it's all about. But it, it doesn't need to be paranormal. Um, this is oh. uh, this is for Kirsty and Rocks because I know they will watch us back. Kirsty and Rocks. If you have any video clips of Andy or Charlie doing <laughs> stuff, to TV, you know, nothing I'm illegal. Not, I'm not, I'm not sure if she's got around. one. I'm not sure if she's got one of me and a mankini. Maybe. No. I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm you not can sure anything. anything. <laughs> On the same note, Sarah, keep sending them videos through. I'm sure I'm going to use them ones you've already sent me. <laughs> Sarah, has Sarah been sending you videos? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> I haven't checked my email yet, but hopefully now she's sending them through. Oh, she will be, she, but she's in, she's in the room. She'll be sitting there on her phone like that. Send, send, <laughs> send. Your phone's just about going nuts. You know what's going to happen now, though, don't you? you you're going to have Kirsty, Sarah and Rox. They're, every time we turn a corner, they're going to be there with the mobile phones recording now. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we're doomed now. We, we, we are going to be, we're going to become memes ourselves soon. Well, you know... <laughs> Fine goes the naked hedge cutting then. That's that, that's it next summer for me then. <laughs> everyone in the chat, everyone at home, everyone who's watching, everyone who's gonna watch, thanks for watching. Um Charlie Scott, thanks for joining us. Um we're gonna come back with the next show or the, the, the first actual show. Uh, I think we said was it the fifteenth of January? Yeah. We said, what's yeah. The so we'll be going live for the first real show on the 15th of January. This was only a teaser. Like I say, it's only supposed to be 30 minutes long. We're an hour and two minutes in now. Happy days. Things went wrong at the start. Hopefully we'll iron them out. <laughs> There's our bloopers. So thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Happy Christmas, everybody. Bye. Yeah.